Okay, now we're just going to have a quick look at how we would set the logger up for real-time display. So there's a dashboard. Now I have to make sure we're connected to the logger. You can test the connectivity, heartbeat, it's all running okay. Now we'll just come up to the data dash, this dashboard. Now what you can do here is we've got the logger running over there and we can see all the channels running. Now I, I want to be able to get these displays this and have see the actual information on on a display on a PC say for example remotely. So what we can do is we can add a widget. Now I'm going to add a for example in this instance I'll initially add a gauge. So let's add um, I might put the pressure for example um, we call this gauges pressure and display units were bar. Now the minimum range, um, the, the range is zero to um, 10 bar, and the minimum is gonna be zero to um, two, and then we're gonna have a mac um, the upper threshold is from eight to 10. And we're gonna refresh this every, now at the moment the log is running one every second, you would normally running, be running this that quickly, but I'm going to refresh this every second because it makes it a little bit more dynamic. So we create a widget there. Now, if I grab hold of the pressure gauge, I can now, you can see that we pump pressure up, etc. So we've got a real time display of that. So let's add another gauge to it. What are we going to do? We'll add a, in this instance, I'll add a, a digital. So let's say, um, the channel I'm going to add will be this 4 to 20 milliamp that's running on the the um, process calibrator here and I'll run hmm, just a battery for example so this is um, I will just call it um, um, yeah, yeah, uh, logger um, bat or anything that's not actually the battery on the unit but anyway display units will be percent and it's going to be the minimum range is going to be uh, the full range is zero to 100 and the lower minimum for, will be from zero to for example 30 and the upper from um, 70 to 100 and again we're going to update this every second so we create a second gauge now if you notice that that um, has the same reading as the um, unit over here and when it changes now there we are to 49 percent now you don't like the two decimal places so let's change that let's set this to zero decimal places update and now it's that's looking a lot better now let's add another one to temperature for example i'll do a chart now the chart we're going to do will be uh, just a standard standard chart chart title will be temperature and it's going to have the last uh, last hour, say for example. Refresh rate, I'll set it again at one second. Um, I, the last maybe, uh, yeah, last hour, that'll do. Um, access will be temp. Um, scaling's automatically automatic and it's degree C. And we want to add a, a channel to that particular axis. And the channel we're going to add in this instance will be T2. And visualization, we'll set the color. So let's set it a nice, we'll set it a nice bright color. There we go. And on the axis, we put it on the temperature axis. And that will be, that will do there. And we create now our um, temperature graph. Now it's got to catch up initially. So if you have a look at this, she's charging along and that's grabbing readings every um, second. Now I'm just going to grab the end of the thermocouple if I can happen to find it. There's the other end of my thermocouple. And uh, when I grab that, I can finally show you the temperature changing. There it is there. So we did a little temperature change experiment before. I'll grab hold of this thermocouple again. Now as it updates, there it goes there. There's our temperature going up, automatically scaled. 
Now, we can have multiple loggers connected to this. So I can have readings from a dozen different loggers. We can fill this page and have multiple pages, etc. Now, the only thing we need to do now is um, it's clearing it, but we could now um, upload the dashboard to the logger. Bang. So now um, when you connect to the logger, you get this back again and you can see what's going on. It's a really nice display. You can have all sorts of um, little widgets and bits and pieces here. So we save that dashboard as well. So I've saved it to both to the PC and to the, the actual logger itself. Terrific little device, data takers, very powerful, um, very flexible. Thank you very much.